Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and welcome to your Tarot Love Reading. We're going to take a look and see um, who is coming into your life. So any new love predictions for you guys? Um, as always guys, these messages are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see who it is that's coming in for you. Okay, what are the new love predictions? You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles in Reverse, Judgment, King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Cups. Okay, Water Energies, you've got a strong Earth sign here who I feel like is coming in for you. So a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. There's also a strong Water Energy. However, like a fellow, um, you know, fellow Pisces, fellow Cancer, fellow Scorpio here. However, this water energy feels like it's a past energy. This water energy feels like this is someone whom you've had. Either you've had some sort of past relationship or you were somehow involved with this person romantically. It could also be someone, I'm getting that maybe this person ghosted you. I feel like this is someone who... There's some regret around their energy. So this is someone who maybe regrets not fully exploring a connection with you or regrets ghosting you, regrets pulling away or regrets not ending up with you. Okay, so there's definitely a past energy here um, that's coming in for you. But there's also a new love that's coming in for you. This is a rather interesting combination of cards. Now, I feel like your next relationship here or your next love is going to be it's going to be something very strong, very stable, very loyal, very committed, very dedicated, especially with the, the appearance of the suit of pentacles. For a lot of you who've actually um, you've been wanting and you've been inviting love into your life, I am seeing that some of you have put a tremendous amount of efforts. Um, into finding the right one or finding someone who's suitable here. Your, all your hard work and all your efforts are going to pay off here in the near future. And everything here seems to work out. Everything is indicated that it's going to work out well here for you in the end. Some of you have had a lot of setbacks and challenges when it comes to love, romance here, relationships, marriages or partnerships here. But for a lot of you, I feel like you can finally take that sigh of relief because I feel like things in your love life, um, in the love department, seem to be um, looking up here. So the Ten of Pentacles here relates to a happiness that um, you experienced because you plant the, you know, you plant the seeds here. The Ten of Pentacles can indicate that this is someone who may be around you in your life, okay? It can point to the importance of uh, connecting energy around you here, who I feel like will, um, um, will play a very significant role in your future love relationships here. Okay, I'm seeing abundance, I'm seeing affection, and I'm seeing a very... Um, you're in a strong position here, not only from an emotional, but also a material standpoint. Or well, this is the new energy that's coming in. This person feels like they have a very strong foundation now, or they're looking to build a very strong foundation for a family here, um, should the two of you choose to have one here. The idea is definitely on their mind, building a family, buying a home, um, investing in property investing in the future here moving in together buying a house starting a family this is someone who wants all of those things and such things are definitely on their mind and they are coming in towards you with such intentions here for some of you as well especially for those of you i feel like where your family approval is a very strong um it has a very strong effect on who it is that you choose as a partner i'm seeing that um you definitely will have um your family's approval here.
this person that's coming in towards you, either he or she is building something that's very long lasting um, in terms of career or the two of you are going to build something that's long lasting. It could be like a family business is what I'm getting. I'm hearing like a family business with the Ten of Pentacles here or like a traditional company of some sort. Okay, now if we move across here to the Four of Pentacles, now this card came out in reverse and I feel like this is somewhat of um, a message for you guys. Um, in, in reverse, it's an indication of openness here. I'm seeing that some of your past insecurities may be healing right now or they may need to heal before you actually engage into a relationship or before you actually find, you know, your soulmate or um, before you invite new love to come into your life. So in order for this connection to move forward here, you need to heal past insecurities and you need to become a little bit more open here. Because I'm seeing, and take this as a warning, that if you not if you don't heal those past insecurities, they won't go away on, on their own. And in fact, what they will do is they will have the power to hinder this connection. And you don't and you don't want that to happen because I'm seeing that this new love that's coming in for you, or whether it's a past energy, but I want you to understand, even if it is like a past energy, if this is someone who's goes to Jura, if this is someone whom you've had a breakup or a separation with, you know, this past connecting energy, they're coming back very renewed. So they're coming back uh, regenerated, transformed here. So they're coming back as a new love, really. And in order for you to sort of uh, proceed with this new love here, um, in order for this to move forward, it's very important for you here to heal any past insecurities and to finally open yourself up. I'm also getting the message that some of you are a little bit closed off and what's that done in the past is pushed away potential lovers purely because there was insecurities or there was fears of getting hurt or there was abandonment issues. Um, the judgment here is a, a strong indication of beginnings and endings happening with regards to your love life here and it also indicates that you will need to make you will be called upon to make a life-changing decision okay so whether you say no to this person or whether you say yes um, either way both have lasting ramifications so you're going to be called to a life-changing decision with regards to love and romance for some of you you're in a relationship currently there's someone here who is around you it's not really a relationship perhaps it's more of a situation and I'm getting the message that this person is kind of they're not wasting your time but they're taking you away from potentially new love coming in for you new fulfilling love coming in for you because this person I don't feel like they can meet your needs and desires so in order for you to begin something I feel like some of you watching this you need to end something which to be honest with you, isn't all that fulfilling or isn't all that emotionally um, gratifying or satisfying. So some of you need to awaken here and I'm seeing decision making. The card also speaks of redemption. So again, I'm getting a past um, energy around you uh, who is coming back into your life. He or she is going to awaken. There's been some sort of regenerating. There's been some sort of um, trans. Uh, formation that this person has gone through and they're coming back into your life here and they're redeeming themselves that's what's happening here they're redeeming themselves once again this is a past energy but it's coming in the form of a new love the ten of pentacles is another indication of i'm seeing a lot of abundance here so there may be again and there may be more than one person that you might have to choose from with regards to um, love here. But did I say ten of pentacles? Another king of pentacles. Um, so yes, abundance here, prosperity. Um, your person here, the new, the, your person, their energy feels as though they have a lot of, they're very um, ambitious and they have a lot of um, high expectations here. He or she is a businessman or a businesswoman. They are a provider. They're very protective. They've got a very sensual side to them as well. There's a lot of prosperity around this person. They almost have like this sophisticated or regal look to them here. They're very determined. Um, naturally very responsible, naturally very reliable as well. Very practical as well. He or she is very much in control. 
Your person is very protective here. They're very protective and he or she is going to demonstrate their love for you through actions instead of words. Because this talk is cheap. Talk is cheap, but they're going to demonstrate their actions through words here. They come from a, uh, a very loving, stable family, and this is what they want to create for themselves here. Um, I do want to point out that this person is going to be slow to make a commitment. They know what they want, but they're in no rush to get it because the next relationship, they want it to be it. They want to be their last relationship here. So they want marriage. They want to move in here. They want to move in with you. They want children. Okay, you've got children here in the cards. Um, they want commitment. They want security. And they want to provide all of that to you. So be patient with this slow and steady energy here. Um, okay, with the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups, and these are two very consecutive numbers here, there's, there's a very strong water energy around you who is... They're still very much focused on you here, guys. I feel like this person has a lot of regrets. Now, this person regrets for a lot of you. They regret ghosting you. They regret not choosing you. They regret not... Um, it's like they had a choice, maybe between you and someone else. I feel like there was an entanglement of a third party of some sort. It could have been another person. They might have ended up with another person. They might have ended up pursuing another relationship. Or they might have chose their career here because you do have a lot of pentacles over you. This person, their energy feels like if they could go back in time, they would do things differently because um, they feel as though they let a good thing go. And there's a lot of regret here. Um, this is someone who is going to reach out to you guys. Um, it could be in May. It could be in June is what I'm seeing. Um, it could be around the 5, of, um, five or 6 um, p.m. It could be as early as a.m. So there could be an early riser, but I'm leaning more towards the evening afternoon time here. Um, but I feel like in the months of May or June, you will hear contact from this individual. And again, this is someone who I feel like there's a very, there's almost like the soulmate energy with this person. And for a lot of you, I do feel like this is someone whom you're going to end up with. So you may potentially go into a, enter into a long-term relationship with this individual. Whilst for others, I'm seeing marriage on the cards. Or if not marriage, then like you're moving in, you're buying a house together. You're essentially, you know, setting up a life together here. Yeah, it feels like very much a strong past energy, a very strong water energy. And someone, there's this emotional thread that still connects the two of you together. So you know who this is because you still think about this person. You still think about this person because I feel like somehow you never fully got to, like the potential of this connection was never fully realized. For some reason, they, I'm, I'm inclined to say that it was them who pulled the plug on this connection. But even so, they regret their actions. They regret their actions, they regret not sticking around, they regret not reaching out anytime soon. But I do see that this person is going to communicate with you because look, all is not lost, okay? So what the two of you once had, to be honest with you, it is salvageable. I do feel like you can, you know, I did say they're coming back to redeem themselves. And although this is the past energy with past regrets, past burdens and, you know, past mistakes around them, they're coming back really regenerated. They're coming back as a new energy and in the form of a new love. So some of you are going to have to make that, um, you're going to have to make an important decision, which is going to have lasting ramifications. So choose wisely. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. I just want to thank you as always for watching and listening. Um, please share your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, uh, commenting, or sharing. I, of course, will be sharing with you more tarot love messages later in the week, so do stay tuned. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.